If you're an artist who wants to work with a mixed medium or hard edge approach and Canvas isn't exactly your forte, a Masonite panel may be a better choice of support medium. Masonite panels give you the opportunity to work on a smooth surface without losing the support that paper may be lacking. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how I put together the type of Masonite panels that I'm currently working with. For this project, I'm using 8th inch Masonite that you can use up to quarter inch depending on how large of a panel you'd like to make. I'm using 1 inch finishing nails to go around the edges and 1 and a quarter inch nails to make the frame. You'll need wood glue to attach the frame to the masonite and you'll need your 1 by 2 inch wood. Just make sure when you pick your pieces out that they are as little warped as possible by holding them out in front of you and checking how much they bend on both sides. Pine is the best because it's normally the cheapest but you can use any wood as long as it's not SDF. Now first with your masonite panel you want to decide if you're going to display it landscape or portrait. In this case I'm going to use portrait orientation which means I'm going to measure out fully the longer sides. Measure the masonite board to the 1x2 itself instead of the length that way you're more exact and mark it down. I'm using a circular saw for the cuts. By lining it up making sure I take into account the amount of space I will need for the saw blade knowing where the saw will cut first. And then making the cut. I'm doing this in a wood shop with safety glasses, the fan on, and with supervision. And of course, you want to check to make sure that your cut is actually the size it's supposed to be. For your second piece, measure with the masonite panel or with the piece you've just cut and repeat the step. Because I've chosen to use a butt joint instead of using 45 degree cuts in order to make the frame for this piece, the pieces on the top and the bottom are going to have to be two inches shorter. In order to measure them out, put both your side pieces together. Measure out the top and the bottom pieces. And then, holding the two of them together, measure within your cut the distance that those two make up. The second line, the shorter one, will be the one that you cut. That way your pieces will fit snugly between your two sides and you'll be able to make a frame that fits your masonite panel. So now we've got our four frame pieces and our masonite and we're ready to put them together. If you have no one to help you hold on to the frame, it's very difficult to try to nail directly into it it's difficult to keep the pieces aligned. So it's easier to pre-sync your nails so that it only takes one or two hits in order to connect them. In this case, I'm gonna do two of the one and a quarter inch nails. I'm gonna nail it in until you can just see the nail starting to poke through. Then I'll put in the second one on the other corner. It'll be just fine. Once you've pre-sunk in your nails, you can easily hold on to the corner Try to line them up as best as you can. And it should only take one or two good hits to get the nail in contact with the other piece. In this case, I needed to hit the nail a little bit harder. But eventually, they should attach just enough so that you can use your other hand to hold on to the single piece, and it should be easier to drive in the others. You can use a nail sink to try to get the nails directly in, or if they're small nails, it might just be easier to do so with a hammer. And connected, they can be quite strong. Now I'm going to do the same with the other pieces of wood. Once your frame is completed, you have to attach the frame to the masonite panel. In this case, you should line it up, and because of the warps in the 1x2s, which are inevitable, you may have some extra space. If the extra space is too much on the masonite half, you may just have to sand it off. To attach the frame to the masonite for larger pieces, use the one inch finishing nails. In this case, I'm only gonna put them in the corners because the piece is small enough that it should be able to hold with just glue. If you don't, I suggest doing it at least three inches per nail. In this case, we're gonna use the wood glue, applying it to the frame You don't need to be extremely liberal with the glue, it will hold very well. 
put on a narrow strip all the way around and then using your finger spread out the glue so that it covers the entire surface of the side of the frame then line up your masonite board and in this case we're going to use some extra nails just in the corners just for extra stability try to get these nails to go in flush with the masonite or else when you sand and prime the canvas you may have shadowing and your board will not be as smooth as it can possibly be. In order to set the glue, use a masonite or plywood sheet or any sheet that's larger than the board you're using. Put it completely over top and then weigh it down with something quite heavy. I'm using two full paint cans in this instance. That way the weight is evenly spread. The masonite panel, as you can see after a full weekend of drying, is completely stable. The glue has set and with the additional nails it is ready to go. See it doesn't move, there's no spaces between it and luckily I had no big errors so I don't need wood filler in order to fill in the sides. But as you can't just necessarily draw on the masonite, you need to get it primed and perfectly smooth. In order to get it that extremely smooth surface that allows for hard edge painting you need to sand in between layers. For my masonite panels, I've used a latex primer, just house paint, um, and I've done about five coats of primer. Between each coat, I've used two different types of sandpaper, the 320, which is a smaller square, in between each coat, and a 400 for a final finish, which gives it its really marble smooth texture. And with that, I wish you luck. It takes a little bit of dexterity and your own personal preference for sanding and smoothness, but in the end, masonite panels are a great way to potentially save money and use a mixed media or hard edge approach for painting or drawing. Good luck!